Let's get into some funky graphs. First off, we have an alluvial plot, which we're going to cover in this video. Next video, we have a lollipop uh, graph. And lastly, a ridgeline plot. The alluvial graph is usually meant to display um, transitions from one state into another, right? Uh, this example doesn't quite work super well, but here we have basically the number of male and female students in our data and how they transition into different faculties, right? And you see, for example, that the, um, this sort of band here, right, is larger for female students going into sociology and political science rather than, for example, the band going to economics and business. And also we have a large band here from male to uh, sociology, but also from male to economics. And the band from male to economics is a little wider than the one, for example, from female um, to, to economics, right? So we learned something from this about the distribution of uh, males and females in the different faculties. Imagine you have data on where students go after university, what kind of work sector they go into, right? This alluvial plot would be a nice way of showing the transition out of university into something else and, and saying something about the uh, proportions there. So let's go to the code and see how this is produced. As in the last video, rather than building the code uh, stepwise, I have the whole code laid out here and I'm going to go through each row with you, right? This combines um, the data cleaning and manipulation aspect with the actual plot, right? And it, it really shows you why we spend the first couple of weeks of this course only on data cleaning and, and manipulating the data because it's needed in whatever you do. And now you see if, if you want to produce just one graph first, you've got to whip the data into shape. And we're combining this here in, in, in one go, okay? First, to produce this alluvial graph, we have to install the GG alluvial package, right? If you haven't yet installed it on your computer, use, you know, the common install packages, GG, alluvial, and so forth, right? If you have it already installed, just call the library uh, function on GG alluvial, we load that, and then it's go step by step. First, we take our students data set as always, we're gonna kick out all of the students where we don't have any information on their sex, whether they're male or female, right? We do this through the exclamation is not available function. We do the same with the faculty. So if there's missing information on uh, faculty, we're going to kick that out. Next, we group by sex and faculty, right? And then we, again, summarize how many observations we have by each group. Let's do that quickly so you see what it looks like. Okay, we now have eight observations here for every combination of faculty and sex. And we know how many students belonging to each category um, uh, exist, right? So this is the basis for our graph. Now we're going to feed this into the ggplot. We're going to um, tell ggplot that in its aesthetics, we want on the y-axis the actual observation of students, the number of observations of students, um, in each bracket, and that's what we just created, this variable here. And then we have to define two axes, and the two axes correspond to the two states between which students are transitioning, right? So on axis one, we have sex, which is males and females, and on axis two, we have the faculty. So it will build containers on each side for each uh, faculty. Let's see what that looks like. Not so much already, right? Just a general graph area. Now let's add this uh, function here, geom alluvium, and add the argument aesthetics, EAS, with the fill at sex and the width at zero, not position at zero, reverse false, right? Don't worry so much about what that means. Um, and run it. And then we see now we have these bands going from left to right, right? Uh, representing the transition. And I, I want to add here, it's not that, you know, me or anyone else really knows this by heart, right? I went online to see, okay, how to change the color on this, how to add a, a, a stratum on this, how to do an alluvial plot, how to change the axis in an alluvial plot, right? With practice and experience, there's more and more things you remember and you can just do it on the fly. But how with, however, with lots of this customizing of graphs, um, it, you know, you have to go and find out yourself um, because it's quite detailed and, and it takes some 
uh, customization depending on what your specific project will look like, right? Um, so uh, not de not every detail here is 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 important. In you will find those details online as you are customizing your graph. All right. Now we're adding the stratums, which are the, the, the boxes. Yeah. Looks like this. We have two boxes by sex and four for faculty, but they're not labeled yet. So let's label them, the stratum, and adjust the height and their position. All right. Here we are, they're now labeled. Let's change the scale a little bit. Okay, not too much different. Position has slightly changed. We're gonna choose um, customized colors. We're gonna choose the type of color palette and a specific set of colors. They're all online, they're various sets of predefined colors, so we're gonna choose these and, and then give it, in the end, give it a title. This time we're gonna use GG title as a function to assign a title rather than the labs function that we've used previously. So let's see what that looks like. And here's our final table. Okay, this is how you produce an alluvial plot in R.